Hi, good evening, ALC. Um, I hope you all are having a good night tonight in your small groups. Um, we're starting a new series for you. I hope you've been enjoying our teaching series so far. We're starting our, devo our teaching on what does a devotional life with Jesus look like? Um, so we're going to focus on a few things that um, will help us in our devotional life with Jesus and um, just having that intimate time with Him and growing um, with Him. So the first uh, teaching we'll be doing is focusing on the Word of God, focusing on God's Word. And so the first concept I want to give you guys is just read the instructions. It's really simple. Um, just like anything else we have in life, sometimes we have to read the instructions. Uh, back when you were in grade school, you had to get a test or a project, and the first thing the teacher told you is read the instructions. Um, same concept here. Um, maybe when you baked a cake for the first time with no assistance, you had to take the box. It's like someone's birthday. You have to look at the box and read the instructions before you even get started. Same concept. Um, earlier this year, there was a storm here in Springfield. And at our home, uh, we have a bunch of big trees in the backyard. And uh, one of the limbs fell off the main tree in the backyard about 15, 20 feet. And, you know, it was there on the ground. And I thought, well, we got to get this cleaned up. Um, we have a rental home, but I figured, well, I can take care of it myself. So for the first time, I went and looked for a chainsaw so I could cut this thing up. Um, and so I bought it, went to Lowe's, picked out the one I wanted, got an electric chainsaw, something that I could handle for the first time and got it home. I'm like, I'm ready to go. Let's get this thing out the box. Let's cut this limb up so it's not just hanging over my whole lawn. And I open it up and it's just a bunch of pieces. I mean, five, six pieces. I'm thinking to myself, well, this is going to take a little while to get get put together. But the first thing I did is I just pulled out the papers and I read the instructions to see what I had to do. It's the same concept with focusing on God's Word. We're simply looking at God's instructions for our life. I've heard the Bible um, called Basic Instructions Before Leaving Earth. So B-I-B-L-E, Basic Instructions Before Leaving Earth. And so that's what we're looking at when focusing on God's Word. All right, and so the first... Uh, scripture we're going to look at is 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17 in the English Standard Version. And this, this scripture kind of shows us the importance of God's Word, what it's good for, what it uses, uh, what's its use in our life. Um, and there's many different things, scriptures that describe um, why the Word is important in our lives. But this one really will show us some lessons and give us some takes from, from God's Word. So 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17 says, all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. And verse 17 says that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. All right, so we're going to do, there's three points I want to show you from this scripture that will um, show us why it's important to be focused on God's word on a regular basis. Um, the first thing is God's word will teach us God's principles and priorities. Um, it said, you know, like I said in the scripture, it says God's word is profitable for teaching. And so God's word teaches us his principles and his priorities. So when we spend time focused on God's word, we are able to understand what's important to him and what should be important to us. God gives us all kinds of decrees and laws and uh, priorities, and he gives us encouragement. He gives us everything we need for life. And so we're able to get his principles for our lives in his priorities and we can we're able to adopt those priorities into our life when we focus on god's word so that's the first point there god's word will teach us his principles and his priorities for our lives the second one is god's word will help correct our correct our own behavior it will help us correct our own behavior when we focus on god's word um, it reveals to us what adjustments we need to make in our own lives it's like having a parent there um, in our lives when we grow up and we do the wrong things and we start uh, you know, swaying away from doing the right things. Our parents are there to correct us and God is our father. And so he gives us uh, these instructions. He gives us um, these laws to keep us in line in life. And he shows us how we can correct um, 
our mistakes, our behavior, uh, and how to walk in line with what He wants for us. Because if we follow His word and we follow um, His priorities, then we can be successful in life, and we can stay out of um, we can stay out of trouble. That's the main thing. We want to stay on a straight and narrow path, and God's word is able to correct our behavior, and we're able to just stay in line with where He wants us. All right. So God's word will help us correct our own behavior. And the third one there is God's word will train us and equip us for good good works. And again, 2 Timothy says that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. All right, so when we spend time focused on God's word, he trains us to do what we are called to do, and he equips us with gifts that empower us to do what we are called to do. Just like Jesus trained the disciples and empowered them, God's word gives us the same training and shows us how to use our gifts in our own lives. And so God has a purpose for us. He has a plan for us. And so when we focus on his word, we're able to be trained and equipped. He's able to show us the gifts of the spirit. He's able to um, just guide us in what we're supposed to do and empower us as well. And so that's the third thing there. We are able to be complete and equipped for every good work God has for us. And so that's exciting. The word is, um, it's a training ground. It's, it's a training manual for us. And so again, we just have to read the instructions and God shows us exactly what we need to do in our lives. I'm going to give you one more scripture here at the end. Um, it's in the book of John, chapter 8, 31 through 32, and it's also English Standard Version. It says, So Jesus said to the Jews who had believed him, If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. So Jesus tells us right there that if we believe in him, we, we need to abide in his word. And if we do, we are his disciples. Um, and his word will teach us the truth and the truth will set us free. So focusing on the word is a win-win for us. You know, Jesus, um, again, he showed us exactly what we need to do in our lives. And when we focus on his word, we get um, the same training the disciples got. We get to see the same actions and the same miracles that Jesus did. And so that's able to be fed into our lives when we focus on the word. And, and God just wants us, again, to be successful in life. He wants us to um, follow the plan he has for our life. And it makes it so much easier when we focus on his word. And so that is the main um, point to all this. And so, the, again, the Second Timothy, it empowers us. It, it teaches us. Um, it does. The word is truly um, the instructions for our lives. And it gives us so much power to walk with, with Christ. And what we, can, what we can close with and what we can take from this, my challenge for you is um, just to focus on God's Word each day. Spend at least 15 minutes focusing on God's Word, reading the Scriptures, um, learning from, from what God has to say to you, um, praying about what you've read, uh, find time to ask God to guide you and how to apply His principles in your life. That's my challenge to you because um, we all go through things in life. Things can get tough. Life can get tough. Things change. We have to grow. We have to adjust in life. And God's Word will guide us in those things. And of course, He gives people to help in that to support us. But if we have His priorities, we have His plans, we're able to, to be successful in, in life and to just to be led by the Spirit because His Word is Spirit. Um, so I just thank you guys for, for listening tonight. Again, just encourage one another, your small groups, um, challenge each other each day, sending verses to each other in the group chat, um, just being accountable for one another, uh, and just encouraging, lifting each other up to focus on God's word. I hope you guys have a great conversation tonight. I pray that um, you have a great week and just be ready for our lesson next week and have a great night. God bless.